Good morning and welcome to today's Facebook Live. It's Wednesday the 9th of March 2022. My name is Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley which is in Northamptonshire in the UK. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you're watching live, you'll see a little um, red and white triangle up in the top left hand side of the corner. And that will tell you that we are actually live. If you have any questions, queries or comments while we're live, don't hesitate to pop those on the comment section and I will answer them as we go along. If you're watching on replay, <coughs> whether it's here on Facebook replay or on my YouTube channel, if you have any questions there, again, just pop a comment in the comment section and I monitor those on a regular basis. Occasionally I do miss one or two, so do, um, do not hesitate to send it again, um, <coughs> but I do try and monitor them on a regular basis and I'll answer any questions that you may have. Hi Kerry and good evening to you in Australia. I hope you're well. So we're continuing with our flowing flowers stamp set and this is my stamp set of the week as I've called it. And yesterday we made this set of cards from a stamped one sheet wonder so you can see that video on Facebook Live and or, on Facebook and also on YouTube. Um, and I basically stamped in a cross formation onto an A4 piece of card. Hi Catherine, hi Jeanette. And, um, and then I cut it up and layered it. So we've got this one here. This one with some added text on it. If you can see that, I'm just going to put my other light on. It is really bright here today. And then we have <coughs> this one that says thank you. And this one here, happy birthday. So those are all A6 cards and they come from one sheet which I've stamped. Um, so that was yesterday, Tuesday. And we're here in the morning yesterday because I had a team meeting in the evening, which is when I would normally be live. And then two here from Monday. Um, with the addition of the ribbon, which I added after we'd finished, thanks to um, Kerry's suggestion, and this one here. So, um, a different form of colouring today. <coughs> Hi Annette, thanks for joining us. So, I have this stamp set here, and today I'm going to be using um, a new technique, well certainly new to me, and that's using blending brushes to colour the stamp. Now I've not done this before, I've not even had a practice, so I'm hoping it will work. This was from an idea that I saw from an American demonstrator, Patty Bennett, um, a very talented demonstrator. She does a lot of sharing of techniques, um, so don't hesitate to check her out, Patty Bennett. So I'm going to be using our Stamparatus today and some different um, sizes of cards or different types of cards. Let me pop that out of the way. And I'm sorry if this reflects, I'll try and keep it out of the reflection. Let me make a little bit of space here. So um, if I do it this way, I think that will be easiest for you like that. So the first one I'm going to do is <coughs> excuse me, is this small note card. So this measures sort of three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So slightly smaller than our normal note cards. This is our small memories and more cards. And I'm just going to fold this in half. So I'm actually going for this one. I'm just going to stamp straight onto the front of the card. Um, so let's see, um, I think what I'll do is put it this way like that. So I'm going to pop a magnet here to hold this in place. 
And the reason I'm using the Stamparatus is so that I can add more layers um, without obviously trying to reposition the stamp. So let me clean the stamp to start with. So I hope everybody is well this morning. Okay. So I'm just going to, let's see. So I'm going to have this, oh, I could do it in portrait. I was going to have this in landscape, but in fact, I'm going to do this one in portrait. So I'm going to put this one here and a sentiment underneath and maybe I'll add the small flowers in. Okay, completely different to what I thought I was doing. But there we go. Okay, so this is in place and it's held in place with my magnet here, so it's not going to move anywhere. And I just want to ooh, pop something underneath here so it's a little bit higher. My cards are falling everywhere. Let's pop a block underneath here. Okay. I apologise for the reflection. Let, let me just see if I can. There we go. It's a little bit better. Nothing worse than having a reflection right in the way. Okay, so this is my stamp here. And this is what it looks like. So I've got the, the main image here. I've got a little bit of dotting going on and some leaves. So I'm going to do some... Um, a melon mambo to start with. Now, as I say, this is an experiment. Oh, brilliant, Catherine. She's so good. So, And she's so lovely in person as well. Okay, so I'm going to take melon mambo and my pink blending brush. Just making sure it's inked up. And then I'm just going to ink up the centre element of this stamp. Now I have no idea how much ink I will need, which is why I put it on the Stamparatus, because I know I can add more ink as I go along. Okay, so let's just start with this and see how this goes. Okay, so just good pressure, giving it time to transfer the ink. Okay, so there's our flower. So it's quite light, so that's fine. I can now add some more. So Patty used a um, a brushing movement, so let's see how that goes. Okay, so that's building that up nicely. If I can bring that up, you can see that's such a pretty stamp. So so delicate. Okay, and let's wipe that. Um, actually, what I'm going to do now is actually add a bit of a darker colour in the middle. Let me just do a little bit more. Pink. There we go. There we go. So that's really coming to life, actually. And I'm just going to put... Um, let's do a hint of orange in the middle. So this is my very well used, as you can see, Mango Melody. So I'm just wiping this down. And finding my linen cloth to dry it. Like that. So now I'm just going to pick up a little bit of Mango Melody. I could do with a piece of paper to try out on. Let's use my scrap from yesterday. You could cut that up and make a card out of that, couldn't you? This bit here. Alright, I'm just it's ascertaining how much ink I've got on there. So now I'm just going to add a little bit in the middle. Okay, so if I just, that's where it's going. Load this up. Like that, so it's just a hint. 
think I can get away with more. It's definitely a case of trying it and seeing and using the Stamparatus makes it so much easier obviously. There we go so that's just got a hint of um, orange in the center. If I just bring that up hopefully you can see that. Okay and then I'm going to wipe that down and add some greenery for the leaves and I've got Granny apple green, but you could use any green. Old olive used to be my go-to. Pear pizzazz is another one of my favourites. And again, it does depend on how much ink you have because you're transferring it onto your brush and then onto the stamp. So obviously it's not, um, not the same as inking it straight up. Now I think what Patty did was she was very clever and she took the corner of her ink pad sort of right on the corner of those flowers or you could use your marker pen um, stamp and write markers I'm just going to do that and see I can see it on the stamp There we go, so that's coming together. Let's do some more. And I might just use my pen as well. So this is actually Pear Pizzazz, which is a little bit lighter. Let's try that. So obviously you would struggle to do this... Um, um, by re-stamping without the Stamparatus. Okay, so where I brushed there, I've got little panels. So I'm just going to brush it the other way. Although it is quite effective, actually. It's the nature of the distinctive stamp because it's got its inbuilt colouring. Okay. And then I've got these little dots here on one side, so I'm going to do those more in the yellow. Hi Katie, thanks for joining us. I hope you're well. Lovely photographs of you riding this week. You get to ride some lovely horses, don't you? Okay, so this is going back with the yellow on these dots here which you'll see in a second and again if I just bring that up so you can see it so pretty a very different look isn't that pretty so you can carry on adding colour and detail okay. and I would definitely recommend Stamparatus or if you've got another stamp positioning tool obviously that would work as well okay so I'm, I think I'm happy with that and the final thing I'm going to do is add a sentiment at the bottom oh thank you Kerry as I say I can't take any um, credit for the um, idea and the design. Um, uh, I'm just looking for my stamp that I had here not a minute ago. Let me have a look. Okay, let's do sending a card instead of a text. And this is re a really cute little um, set. Um, I want to put it up there, but it's a little bit big tuck in there. So I'm just going to have it there. Because this stamp is clean, 
I'm not going to move the stamp okay just going to add that on so this means what you could do is leave those on there and stamp out 10 or 20 of these and all you need to do is just replace this piece in here and away you go and I am going to use an espresso <laughs> bless you bridey yeah absolutely you could use the dauber so that's a close up for you bridey um, yes and in fact I think most people have been using daubers because obviously you can be quite accurate on that um, but the blending brush just gives it it's just a softness somehow um, right I just want to grab my espresso Apologies, I've got the bags that have come back from our great team meeting last night and I've got stuff ready for coffee and cards so I just have to take them out of the right box. It is very soft isn't it? I think you could get the same um, really with daubers. Okay let's just cover these up. And then for this one, I'm just going to use, of course, early espresso. Just inking this up. Making sure I avoid that. So if you look at an ink pad, one edge has got a very narrow margin. So that if you are um, inking up, try and use that one. And then you... You don't have to guess quite so much where the edge of the ink pad is. Now, I've just got a little bit on here, a bit overzealous, and there might be a little bit on there. Okay. There we are, sending a card. I want that a little bit darker. So I'm just going to ink this up again. There we have it. Let's take the magnet out of the way. How cute is that little card? Okay. And I do have, I did have <laughs> the envelope for this. If I could find it here, it is. Okay, so I can choose which bit of this I want to put on the envelope. Let me just wipe the sending a note out. Like so. So we've got a lovely sunny day here. I hope it's the same for you all. So let's see what I could do is just going to get this bottom right hand corner of the envelope pop that on there okay and this time i'm just going to ink up with the pink Oh, well, you'll get to see it now, Bridget. <laughs> so, we're just going to use an ink blending brush and colouring the stamp directly with the blending brush, like so. Like that. And I was a bit firmer with my blending brush so I think this will come out maybe a little bit darker and then I'm just going to use the green for this little bit of leaf here so that's the technique but you could use sponge daubers and you could also ink up with I did it with the marker pens yesterday 
but I'm liking this technique. It's just much, much softer. Let's just clear that off. So I haven't moved the stamp at all. Swipe that from there. And let's just add a bit of the green. Just at that very bottom. It's only got a little bit of leaf to show. There we go. Lift that off. Just put that on there for the second. So there we have our little card and our coordinating envelope. I haven't added the orange in particularly. I don't think it needed it on the envelope, but that does all the work for you. Just think that's so, so pretty. Okay, let me just grab a bone folder. There we go. So sweet and then I just want to show you um, with this so that's on white card on our mini note cards and I just want to show you how different it looks on vanilla so I've got a vanilla note card but I just want to stamp up similarly let's take the sentiment off for the moment and let's see i'm just being lazy really not relocating this but maybe i will this one is going to go that way so i'm going to pop this down first And then put this one here and a small one here. a little bit of pink <coughs> left on my stamp from yesterday okay so for this one I'm just going to do let's see some uh, yellows so I've got mango melody so just to show the second same technique I'm just going to pink up this be a bit more forceful this time like that I'm hoping it's not um, reflecting too much and obviously you can do a combination so you could do some blending and some stamping um, some inking up direct really up to you but I just want to show you how it looks quite different on um, vanilla. This really doesn't have much ink on it. Morning, Babsy. Lovely to see you yesterday, Babsy. Oh, hi, Jill. Sorry I didn't spot you um, sneaking in. So it was great to see uh, everybody at the team meeting, wasn't it, last night, Babsy? I hope you enjoyed it. And obviously, um, you got back safe and sound. OK. 
Okay, so this one, just using Stamparatus blending brush for a different look. And now I'm going to sort of reverse it and add a little bit of pink in the middle. So I'm just going to take off that little bit of ink, switch over here. So this is Melon Mambo. I'm dotting in the centre. And in the centre of the flower. So if you've got sponge daubers, they would work equally as well. So I'm leaving the leaves for the moment. They will pick up a little bit of ink. Can you see that coming together? So I'm going to add the green in in a second, just adding a little bit more pink in the centre. And obviously with the dauber you can be even more accurate. So just use whatever you've got. If you've got blending brushes, give this a try. Oh, bless you, I understand that, Jill. I didn't expect you to come over. It's fine. Okay, and then our last thing there is the leaves. Actually, if I've got the dauber, I could show that as well. Let's just see. Oh, that's got red on it. I can find a green dauber. Let's have a look, see. It's got a lot of brown on it. Let's see if we can get away with it. So just using the dauber. So this would work in the same way. Oh, fruit salad, yes. It does rather, doesn't it? So maybe for small areas, the dauber is better. But for large areas, the blending brush obviously it covers more of a, a segment doesn't it so so this is cut, die cut with our re rectangle stitch dies and i'm going to pop it onto a vanilla note card and just add a layer behind it now my ink pads are very very well used they all need replenishing so this is why it's taking this much longer i could have used a darker ink but i've been quicker but there we go okay that will do nicely and then again i can add my sentiment on and oh there's my happy birthday Got something on the back of it. Yes, I hope this stamp set carries over. Two. So I'm going to put this in here. So it, it may slightly overlap, but I'm not worried about that. I moved. And I'll need to take one of those out of the way, at least. <laughs> Both of them. So what I could have done was just turn that over and put it on another side. But it will do for our purposes. I'm going to do this one in early espresso. Hi Tracy. 
Good morning. Nice to see you two last night. Yes, of course you can, Babsy. This one's going in the middle. There we go. And I'm just going to ink that up again. So make it a little bit darker. There we go. There's that one there. And obviously you could go on and add um, more detail if you wished. And so these are our vanilla note cards and envelopes. So we have these in addition to our white ones. Just grabbing that. Okay, that's going to pop onto there. Just going to grab a piece to put behind it. Although actually it's quite nice just tone on tone. Um, let me see if what I've got to put behind so this is a mango put that layer behind it and this is melon mambo or I could just leave it like that and I'll tell you what I'm going to do is stamp over the background. Let me just bring in this scrap of paper here and I'm just going to use, move those out of the way. The bigger stamp just to go around the outside. And to save time, I'm just going to do this in Melon Mambo. I'm going to fold this over for the top, like so. This one is so pretty in its own right. to there like that it's going to pop it flat actually and then we're all done so Babsy you're most welcome to post a photo on my um, Gemini Cross page because I don't think it allows you to add a photo as we're um, typing so if everybody wants to watch out for that Okay, how pretty is that? <laughs> there we go. And obviously, we can stamp a little bit of that on the inside. I won't do it now because you've seen that all before, but let me show you. Let's add a bit of bling, certainly to this one. And we're done. Oh, bless you, Babsy. Thank you, Jeanette. 
you can um, pop it on you can post on my Facebook page Was that using the stamp set or this technique, I wonder? One, two, three. There we go. So there's our two cards. We've got this one here. So cute. With the envelope. And then this one here using the same design but on vanilla card lovely so thank you so much if you want to see more of this technique hop over to um patty bennett or pattystamps.com i'm pretty sure and it's p-a-t-t-y um and she's got, she has lots of techniques and things that she posts so she's definitely somebody worth um following so thank you so much everybody i hope you enjoy the rest of your day i'm off to catch joe at coffee and card um in our one of our local cafes so i shall be back tomorrow thursday at 7 p.m for some more crafting with our stamp set of the week flowing flowers thank you so much everyone take care enjoy the rest of your day morning afternoon evening <laughs> wherever you may be Thank you so much. Bye for now.